Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I might have went to bed last night without, um, like I washed my hair and like did all that good stuff, and then I might have like not brushed it, so it might look like a lioness mane today, so that's fun. However, we are here for a different reason, you guys. Very important. Laura Mercier Foundation. The foundation, I waited a week to get here. Apparently, um, I put it in my cart and I ordered something else for another video. And apparently the other thing didn't like, you can't ship it two day flash and blah, blah, blah. So I waited like a week not knowing that that was going to happen. So I finally have this foundation in my hand. And by the way, before I forget, I'm in the shade. I picked up, I don't know if I'm in this shade, 1W1 Ivory. Now I say that because apparently for my stylistic foundation, I, um didn't not say the shade. I just, I went back and looked at the footage. I just edited out the part where I said the shade. Good job, Paige. So we're going to move on. But I just wanted to say, make sure that I said that because it's very important to say the shade names. And I can't believe that I edited out the part where I did. God, my voice feels so raspy today. I probably, on camera, I probably sound like I smoked four packs this morning. <laughs> so in the description on Sephora, what they say about this is that what it is, it's a 15 hour long wearing, oil free and transfer resistant liquid foundation with a matte finish and weightless medium to full coverage. Girl, you already are piquing my interest, okay? Then, in the what it does, this is where be, re be ready to be shook. Get lasting wear and all the coverage without the weight. This oil-free foundation is formulated with skin fusion technology to seal it into place for 15 hours of high-performance, comfortable wear that's transfer sweat, humidity, and water resistant. Coated pigments glide on to create buildable medium to full coverage color Sorry, that beautifully evens out your skin tone with color that stays true and wears evenly. The matte finish is never dull, flat, or cakey, and it minimizes imperfections while silky finish powders help control oil immediately mm -hmm, and throughout the day. Weightless texture looks, fits, and feels like a second skin. It's ideal for all skin types, especially normal to oily. <laughs> And it's available in a wide, wide array of shades, which I was looking at that because I'm like, wide array? But you guys, dude, they really did go deep on the colors. Like, they released a bunch of shades. What is that? 20 shades. They released 20 shades right out of the gate. That's awesome. Most most of these, are they released, like, there was a new release that we'll be trying soon um, from Estee Lauder. They released a new foundation or a new, like, cover medium. And they released it in, like, I'm not exaggerating, like, eight shades or six shades. And I looked at that and I was like, what are you even supposed to do with those shades? Like stop. So I figured we would get tested. And by the way, it won't pick up on camera. I've tried 150 times, but this cap is like the coolest, like it's like tiger print. It's like black and brown tiger print. Again, I will just try again because I never learned my lesson. So let's just open it up. Can we open it up? <laughs> you just pull up, you don't try and twist. Okay, so I actually really like this already. It comes with a little pump action here, which is awesome. And we are going to throw some on the hand. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Wow, that is a thin coverage. Or, I mean, a thin cons thin consistency. Like, it shot out of there. And that is not my color. Um, but we're going to see if we can just, like, make it work. Because, you know, we love Tim Gunn. And Tim Gunn says that you make it work. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go in and try this first side with the Beauty Blender. So I look a little bit jaundiced. So, okay, I just used that entire drop that was on my hand, and that was like two full pumps. And I think what I want to do is I want to try the other side of my face with a brush, but not just any brush. I want to try it with my Cover FX brush because I feel like this one was really, really, really good. Um, is or is really good rather with the like silky or really really smooth consistency that it's almost like a liquid and I think that this brush might be a better fit so I am just gonna go in with this brush and see maybe if we get a little bit better coverage I definitely do think that the like color the pigment is going a lot longer with a brush but I also think that it's dragging a little bit and being very patchy huh probably gonna have to go over this with a beauty blender yeah, I definitely will. Very, very streaky. Wow, you gotta work quick with this foundation. It, it definitely, like, starts to dry down very quickly. And yes, I did go ahead and prime and prep my skin and do all that good stuff. Um, I just, I didn't do it on camera because I'm like, why? I look legit like I have jaundice right now. 
That's how you know that you're like a true beauty lover is when you're like, yeah, I might look a little crazy while I'm trying it. Cause like, look at my, my neck to face. <laughs> Can't wait to see what boyfriend says. Do you know that your face is yellow? Are you okay? Hell yeah, I'm okay, man. I'm trying out this new cool foundation, y'all. I know I'm great. What are you talking about? It's amazing, too, like, the number of beauty videos that you'll watch and the people are like, this isn't my shade. I'm gonna find a way to make it my shade. Like, if you're gonna work with this, you need to work with it in sections and, like, take care of it because that dries down. Wow, did that dry? To that dried quickly. And, like, it's dried to the point where as I tap it with my beauty blender, it's, like, actually almost sticking, like... It's so weird, that's crazy. Um, I am going to, by the way, set this with the Laura Mercier powder when it's all said and done. So anyways, I am going to shape tape, I am going to get that part of it situated, and then I will come back with you guys and put this on and we will kind of see how it applies, how things set on the skin and all that good stuff, so hold on. Okay, so here is some real tea for you. I did go in, I took my shape tape, and I like went through the lighter areas of my face that I normally would, and I just made sure to like conceal them and like really spread the concealer out. And it really did help like even out the complexion a little bit more so I'm not so orange. But I do have something interesting to note. I took um, one like last kind of go over on my face, and I saw that there was like a little bit over here where I was like, eh, you know, like I'd like to kind of patch that up a little bit. So I took my wand out and I just like tapped it like I didn't like jam it in or anything like I lightly tapped it just enough so that like a little bit of product would distribute and now that I'm looking it actually like as I beat it in it lifted the the foundation right off my face and obviously I've used shape tape like a million times and that's never happened what the loudest cat she just scared the living bejesus out of me honey you gotta be quiet while I'm filming Whew, sorry about that but my problem is that as you do this, know how I said it felt sticky? It feels so sticky and I think what's happening is that if you work with this too long or put something on top of it that's a liquid, I feel like it's gonna lift because it actually did lift and like leave a hole like in my face that I had to go back over and try to cover. And then at that point you're putting like sticky product on sticky product and it was just like, huh. Cause I mean, don't get me wrong, like the finish is gorgeous. This looks so good, like I haven't set this yet. And it looks so, so nice. But at the same time, I'm like, it's not our full review. If you don't tell people like, yeah, it's really, really sticky and like product did lift off my face during the filming of this video. So I came back on camera, A to say that, B to set, cause I figured it's time to do that. Okay, no shade. I did pick up the shade 1W1, but I went and checked on the website after it was a terrible match, and I'm like, why would I buy this? Because it's warm, you know, the, the, the letters in those names typically stand for warm tone, t cool tone, neutral tone, you know, da 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 And I was like, why would I have bought warm tone? I know I do not have warm tone skin, and like, I have no warmth in my skin at all. It is like pasty and cool tone and, oh god, not, it's just not warm. And I went and looked, and I'm pretty sure when I bought it, they didn't have anything that would have matched me in, like, my tones. It would have been the next shade darker. I think since then, they have a couple more shades in. So, obviously, like, I will probably return this one if I like it, and I'll get my right color. Um, if I don't, I'll just return it. But either way, this is probably not a color I would keep. So, if I'm being completely honest, this does look really nice. As I get up close to it, I do see, like, the potential for some cake breakage on my nose already just being real and I also do see a little bit of like color disruption in this area um I, like I've always said though my sweet spot is a couple hours into the day so maybe it'll get better maybe it'll kind of like all meld together from the heat of my face so far though the finish is spot on it is a nice gorgeous matte finish even before obviously I did the setting powder it was really nice and matte um I was able to correct it to where I think I could wear this out into public and not get all the funny faces I'll probably still get some, but like, oh well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish my full beat. I will be right back. <laughs> okay guys, I finally got my full beat on and it has been a little bit of a rough minute. Um, there are a couple things I do wanna say about this foundation. I think that from like this distance, it looks really good. Um, I think that it sits nicely on the skin. My biggest problem is that I have had it personally on mine. It has lifted several times on my skin. I was actually, I had wet my, um, 
my highlighter brush. I had wet it and then I had went into my Jeffree Star highlight and I was just kind of, you know, lightly uh, dragging it over my skin like I do. And on this side I did it and I looked down and it had actually removed all of my foundation. Like, the, it just lifted. It didn't do it on this side. It just did it over here. And I had only done like three swipes, like real light, little ting, ting, ting. And then I look and there's no foundation. And I was like, what are you, what happened? And it wasn't a little patch either. It was like an entire section. So I was like, mm. um, that's kind of one issue. My second issue I'm having is that my pores on my nose are like very emphasized right now, which is a little bit like, eh, no, thank you. I have the start of potential for cake around the nose and I also noticed that like in the like right around here like I said before there like the pigment is very patchy grabbing in there and I don't know that could just be my skin I'm not sure um, that does happen with me with a lot of different foundations um, but I'm gonna keep obviously wearing it throughout the day and like see if maybe it kind of dissipates or melds together a little bit nicer um, but other than that I feel like there's a hair in my nose Whew. Anyway, sorry, it almost like made me sneeze and stuff. But I, and another issue that I'm having too is I feel like, um, like earlier, for example, I just like touched my nose and I look and I'm like the foundation comes right off, like at the touch. So I don't know how they could say that this is transfer like resistant. I'm, I'm not seeing that so far. Like I touched under here, I did this lipstick, which can I just say, the lipstick was not supposed to be this dark. I was trying to do a lighter ombre effect, which don't get me wrong. Like, I still think it looks pretty, but it wasn't supposed to be this dark with these eyes. But whatever. I mean, everything at least looks nice, and my eyebrows don't look awful. So, like, it's it's not a horrible day yet. But anyways, I was trying to clean up under my lipstick, and it was just, like, no go. Like, I took my, I took a piece of toilet paper, and then I kind of, like, was scoring, like, around my thing. And it just wiped off, like, a bunch of foundation where I wasn't even hardly touching. So I'm like... How does this happen? But I don't know. I think from far away, I think it looks nice. I think it has a nice finish to it. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little bit concerned about how it's going to wear throughout the day. I did go through and I like just did a very nice bronzed over look for today in the hopes that it would kind of like balance out that kind of orangey color. Um, if it doesn't, I might have to like find a way to go in here and lighten this area up, maybe with a different setting powder. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I will kind of check in at the end of the day. I will... Um, you know, keep you apprised of the goings on if anything significant happens. As of right now, I don't have a lot of confidence. Like, I'm being completely honest, I might eat my words in, a, in like, you know, eight hours or whatever, but I don't feel like this is going to be working well for my skin type. Could just be me. Might be that I have a lot of texture, but we shall see. I will check in at the end of the day. Okay, guys, it is the end of the day. It is like, <laughs> let's see here. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like 6 o'clock, so this has been on my face for 12-ish, 12, 12, 12 and a half hours, I think. Um, and I wanted to come back in. I'm going to zoom you in so you can take a look. But if I'm being honest, I take a couple issues with the claims that they made. Um, like I said this morning, I do not see this as transfer resistant. And I honestly, sorry, I have like, I scratched myself on a box of all things. So like there is kind of a weird looking spot on my chin. But like, I'm going to zoom you in so you can see because I feel like that's the right thing to do. But my face is like ultra cakey and it's breaking up all over my nose. This foundation did not wear well on my face at all. But I'll zoom you in and then we'll talk about it. So hold on. Okay, so you can kind of see like up through here, like look at my nose. And I did not blot at all. So like this isn't bad for the oil part of it. But like look at how broke up it is all around here. All that is gone. And that's gone. I'm super cakey and texturized all on my cheeks. Lot of like random pigment like sticking around through here. And then where was the other? Oh yeah, up here, like up on my forehead. Do you guys see every ounce of texture on my forehead? Ridiculousness. So I wanted to zoom you in and then I wanted to talk about it. Like I think what I take the most issue with is that this, I don't, okay. I want to start by saying, like, obviously one skin type does not represent all skin types. So, do I think that this is a bad foundation? Honestly, no. The, I take, the issues that I take with it are, number one, I don't think it's for people with textured skin. I have a ton of texture on my face. Like, I have a lot of pore texture. I have a lot of just, like, skin bumpy texture. I have a lot of, like, acne texture. My face is just solid 
like un uneven terrain, if you will. And I think that the problem I have is that I feel like this is a foundation that strives so hard for flawless look that it it isn't meant for people with this kind of texture. When you see skin or like different foundations on different skin types, the texture of the person trying it is so insanely important because that's a game changer. And I feel like when I read the description this morning about this particular foundation, as I was reading it, it talked a lot about like having this cream to powder finish and having all these like crazy nuanced things that made it so amazing, which is great. But I think that when you have really textured skin, all of those things in combination kind of worked against me for this particular foundation. Um, in the morning, I think that it set down very nicely and it actually did set very nice with the Laura Mercier setting powder, which was nice. Um, it did look very almost, I don't wanna say airbrushed because it wasn't quite there, but it looked very, very nice but it also looked very cakey right from the start. And I really had an issue with that just because it, it even said very specifically, like this foundation will not cake. The other issue, so that's like three so far, like does, it shows and emphasizes a lot of texture. It got very, very cakey. My third issue is I felt like for the coverage, they kept saying in the thing like, this is the ultimate coverage. This is amazing coverage. This is such great coverage. And then as I put it on my face, I actually had to build the coverage a lot to kind of conceal like my, you know, my problem areas over and through here. And then even at that, like it did, it concealed them well but I wouldn't consider it like the most perfect coverage. Even as it wore throughout the day, I was like, okay, so even the coverage kind of wore off a little bit. So those were like my three main issues. Um, I definitely think it's something that you could probably play with and like tailor more to your specific skin. Like if you wanted to use this for the long wearing effect, you could say, oh, like I'm gonna use more of a pore filling primer or something to that effect. Um, but again, I personally, I didn't think it was that long wearing. It, don't get me wrong. Maybe it's just the oil on my face. Like everything works different on each individual person. So like it really could be anything. You don't know. And I just feel like for me, this foundation is a no. I would not recommend this foundation to someone with super oily skin. I'm not talking like mild or like normal to slight oil. I'm talking like I have hormonal oil over here and it is hormonal as hell. So you never know what you, what day like you're gonna get. Are you gonna get a light oil? Or are you gonna get like a crazy holy hell like gates of like, you know, vats of oil and gates of McDonald's are opening up on your face kind of thing. And you don't know what you're gonna get this is not a foundation for you. I'd also say it's not a good foundation for you if you have texture, because no matter what, like my oil and the breakup on my face aside, I think that this emphasized way too much texture to be something that I would recommend. And again, I think that it worked really, really, or would work really nicely on people that, you know, they don't have, um, they don't have to build it up as much so it wouldn't get as cakey or they don't have as much texture on their face. I realize that in a lot of these areas, I am kind of like an extreme case. When it comes to the oil, when it comes to the texture, when it comes to the red and the hyperpigmentation, I kind of am a more extreme case. Um, but if I was gonna rate this, I wouldn't give it like nothing. I'd give it like a six. I mean, it's not the worst foundation I've ever tried, if that says anything. But I think it's something that you definitely have to be selective with this foundation. I don't think it's awful, it's just not my favorite. For me, it probably will be a return because I just, again, I didn't find it that great. And by the way, none of that takes into account the fact that it was not my skin tone. I did not let that like have any bearing or weight on like my my thoughts for it. And actually, fun fact, this was not my skin tone at all, as you guys saw from the morning clip. And um, I actually got a lot of compliments on how my skin looked and like the fact that people said like, wow, your face looks really warm, you look tan, you look healthy. And I was like, you saying I don't look healthy every day? Which to be fair, I don't. I look a little bit like Edward Cullen <laughs> in my like day-to-day -day face because I'm just such a pasty person. But the shade actually a lot of people really liked on me. So if anything, I was kind of like, well, <laughs> maybe I should buy the wrong shade more often except not, don't do it, it's not good. Um, so I, can't, I guess those are all the thoughts I've got on this one, guys. That's it for this video, I'm done, I'm out. Peace be the journey, cool runnings, just like they say. Um, I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna go take off all this, this craziness here, I got lots of stuff to do tonight, and I will talk to you guys all later, but don't forget, don't, don't you be forgetting now, I'm uploading like a lot, so hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, Comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Instagram, so many, so many things that you can just go hitting all kind of buttons and just be loving on it. All, all kind of, all the love. 
all the love, all the feelings, all the love, all the happies. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have a great night, day, weekend, universe, situation, marriage, whatever the case may be, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye! Choo, 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 choo.